I should say how glad I am to be with you here now. Instead of a dull-witted mind, the kind you might find in the gutter someplace, arguing with everyone, mad at the world. Because when I see them, they keep shifting around, scratching itches and never getting comfortable, thinking they know it all. And no one can tell them what to do not even to help them, and they refuse to learn anything that might get them to climb out of that place and take care of themselves. So it's nice to know that anyone with your intelligence can easily learn how to drift into trance. So you can sit there lie there in that chair in your bed here while you try to be aware of the exact meaning of the words you hear and all of the changes that occur there in your thoughts sensations or awareness as I speak here, or you can forget to try to make the effort it takes to pay close attention to everything that happens or does not happen in your experience as you listen to me and also to your own thoughts or to your sensations that change over time or stay the same in an arm or an ear and your legs or fingers and what about the thoughts and the variety of images that speak to your mind's eye as I speak to your mind and what you speak to yourself speaks for itself as you try to search and find that things may seem to be one thing, but it turns out to be another. Because two and two are four. But two can also mean also, and no two are alike. It all belongs to you and to your own ability to relax. Those two ears too. And to begin to know that you really don't know what means yes and what means no here. Though you may try to guess where you're going to go. You don't know that there is no real way to know how to let go while holding on and to recognize that there is nothing you need to try to know, to do or not do. Because everything you do allows you to recognize that I can say many different things and there's no need for you to make the effort it takes to try to make the effort to pay close attention to each thing I say or don't say. Because there was a time when the effort to train the minds to stay on track was not worth the trip that led the mind back to that time of peaceful, calm awareness of effortless letting go and knowing that you don't need to try to hear or to understand what I might say later on here. The conscious mind can 
go anywhere it wishes while I continue to talk. And your conscious mind continues to hear the way you overhear a conversation. You don't even need to do anything at all. It all belongs to you. As you begin to hear the way you do here and now, with eyes closed, comfortable, that voice or sound or music in the background of the mind as you listened to that show and felt relaxed, drifting, glow of a slow sound show of quiet calmness and thoughts like dreams. They followed themselves as I spoke, turning spokes in a wheel, turning, drifting, effortlessly down into a quiet, still place where words can remind your mind of those things needed for you. And now, just linger in your special place. There's no place to go, nothing to do. Just rest. Just let yourself drift and float. Drift and float into a sound and restful sleep. And as you drift deeper and deeper, I wonder if you could visualize a, a contract. See what you've written there. See the positive statements, ideas, and goals. See what you've written and know that it is true. Positive thoughts are true. You have released all negative thoughts and feelings. You release stress and tension from your mind, body, and thoughts. Each new positive statement becomes stronger and stronger as you continue to drift deeper and deeper into relaxation. That's right. Just let yourself drift deeper and deeper into sleep. Let those positive statements in your mind as you drift into a sound and restful sleep. And now become aware of how comfortable you feel, so relaxed. Your head and shoulders are in just the right position. Your back is supported, and you are becoming less and less aware of all the normal sounds. And as you drift deeper and deeper, you may experience a negative thought or worry trying to surface in your mind, trying to disrupt your slumber. trying to disrupt your rest. Simply take that thought and sweep it up as you would sweep up crumbs from the floor and place that thought or worry into the box. 
This box has a nice tight lid. Put the lid on the box and place the box on the top shelf of your closet. You can go back to that box at another time. A time that's more appropriate. A time that will not interfere with your sleep now.